hey guys welcome back to my channel so today guys we are also doing money talks you know i like to give you guys insights on how business is done in japan and the rest of it so today i'm going to show you guys another auction i see that you guys like the previous auction video that i made and i'm coming here again with another one so today i'm going to a place called ju auction so this one is in miyagi so ju auction is actually one of the biggest auction sites in japan i think they have more than 20 sites across japan so i think that's why it's big and they have a lot of dealers you know that they work with so this is not an ad it's just me trying to tell you guys about ju auction and how their operations look like so i'm going to one of their sites right now to see the cars that they have but before i start remember i am a student <laughs> I am not into the business but i'll get as much information as i can for you guys to have an idea of how these things work let me know your comments in the comment section or please i may not be able to buy cars for you so if you're asking me to help you buy this car or that car like i always get in the comment section nah that's not really what i do <laughs> but i'll show you guys around just so you have an idea of how these things are done this one is much bigger than the last one i showed you guys the ari auction so this is much bigger i'm hoping it will have more things and then you guys get to see so no long talk guys so just check them out also i think they have online sites so you can bid for cars online that's if you're registered if you have the membership and the rest of it so if you're new here my name is akuna i am a nigerian living and studying here in japan so guys i hope you get to enjoy this video don't go anywhere stay tuned because this will be very informative i promise you guys so i'm going to this auction now with someone who has an idea about auction someone who is into business and the rest of it so you guys will get some you know more info i'll try my best to squeeze out as much info as i as i can so guys stay tuned see these trucks taking out some of these cars these are probably the cars they've bought but with the way they are stacked you can see that most of these cars might be considered scrap because they are not stacked you know delicately like things that will be reused in japan so this might be people who want to take out some parts or export them for some other thing okay, and this is where the cars are assessed before they're put up for sale or for bidding yay look at this loveless look at this array of cars up for bidding so anyone you want be on it and hopefully you get it one thing i like about auctions or coming to these auction sites is just you know the ability to see different vehicles and most likely those that are very relatable to the cars we drive in nigeria so most japanese cars you know are small and you know have some different shapes from what i know but here i get to see a lot much more variety and things like that so all this is going up today for bidding for auctioning for example here you see the date this means September 20th this is going to be the bidding number assigned to this car and then you have the document stating whatever is wrong with the car the properties of the car the mileage and the rest i'll still show you guys in details when we open one of these cars as i've said in my previous videos japan cars are right-handed while in nigeria we are left-handed <laughs> or we do left-hand drive so it's typically difficult to send some cars back home but that means it will require you to convert them and you know one thing about cars if you don't get a good professional you might end up with a faulty car and your money would be wasted you spend a fortune buying liability This place is actually grade A. Okay. This section uh, will have a grade B also, and grade A has like two sections. This place, for instance, is actually uh, 
first time cars coming to auction mm. why this place this side is actually maybe second or third time this is not their first time of coming to auction probably they've sold it before in auction but this car this is the first time coming oh. to auction okay. most of them are first users wow so let's check out this uh, uh, GLA 250 okay formatic um, looking at this car oh I like the white color um, this um, oh, like looking at the pepper auction pepper mm. uh, like I said this first time coming to auction okay there's the auction number okay there's the recycle fee oh. and uh, if you pay like if you happen to buy this car mm. you have to pay 10 percent as tax then you pay this recycle fee and also you pay ju fee oh, okay and for grade the car is relatively, relatively good okay. Mm. okay what's the mileage like this is 103,000 kilometers exactly oh. it is japanese yes yes okay and then it was made in h27 okay so guys japan uses a different calendar so h27 will be 2015 and this also, is 2015 model this this car has a bit of engine problem well, let's try and start it and okay. see oh it's not coming on it's not coming on i don't know maybe that's the problem but it might go cheap okay. i'll show the back so to uh maybe when auction, auction starts or my want to check see how much it goes okay let's see the number again so keep an eye on it guys we'll figure out how much it will go for so this is 2001 all right and mind you that the problem of this car is stated here yes if you read japanese if you can translate you already know what the problem is yes so this is typically the issue with some foreigners <laughs> like me <laughs> who cannot read kanji Let's check this uh, LS460. Okay. Uh, Lexus L of a little bumper accident. Okay. I don't know. Maybe uh, I want to check. The car is not looking too good. Oh, uh, the seat yeah, is the not seat too clean. Is... Even in the interior, it's not too nice. But uh, like I see, see the grade, grade 3 is not looking nice. And. Um, I don't know, it might go cheap. This is first time coming to auction and it's not really a new car. But H24, what? so this is likely 2012 vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mileage is about 124,000 kilometers and then the recycle fee and the uh, rest yes. of it. Um, looking at the car, I think this car will go cheap. A lot of issues and uh, the grade is not looking nice. Okay, let's check out this Toyota Vitz. Okay. Um, it's quite um, skillless. This is one NR engine. What does that mean? Uh, it's the engine type. Oh. And 1,300 cc. Okay. Push to start. I This car is very fuel efficient. Um, well, often times, uh, people, we foreigners, who buy because it depends, mostly like in Africa, we are uh gasoline is very expensive mm. you use this car you enjoy it let's see the mileage okay. so you guys can see the mileage, the mileage which is also uh, reflected here yeah looking at this if you translate this you will notice the problem or you will see the problem of this car first time coming to auction and uh the cycle fee nine thousand and mind you this this ceo it has a bit of rust U2 means that at the back, right here, under, there's rust. A2, very okay. A2, wait. A1, perfect. A1, so every other thing it looks good. Here, for the, but like I said, this, I don't know. And then it has a grade 4, so I guess grade 4 is semi excellent, like good condition, probably just one or yeah, two yeah. issues. You have, you have 6 grade. 6 is new car. 
5x the car is in just close to new almost new 4 is i will use the word excellent while uh, we we'll have three and a half. Three and a half is relatively good. Three and a half is relatively good. Yes, 3.5. Mm. Then we we'll have three. Three is like in grading. We'll give it C. Okay. So three. Most Japan in Japan, yeah. Most people don't buy three. They buy it for export. Not that the car is bad, but it could be the interior or it could be the under. It could be all these things affect the grading. Even how neat the vehicle is interior wise affects and the body wise affects the grading mm. and also one of the things that may makes these cars expensive is there are some factors one first time auction it will go expensive one two uh if it has history of repair repair history if okay. it has gone to maybe repair shop one or two it will downgrade the price and also if um uh, like I say, rust also is another factor. If it has rust, and but this car means four means that it's still you can still use it here. So if you push this car, it will go very high. Okay. Let's check this out okay, when auction eight. starts. Yes. yes. Okay, so let me just check out the interior. So this is what the interior looks like. Like you said, this is very common. It's commonly sent. To Nigeria, I know people who have sent this a number of times because it's well efficient. It still looks good. The interior is not that bad. It looks semi-clean. Not something you can't do at a car wash. So yeah, that's it. Um, okay, let's check this uh, CLS 350 out. Still has shaking. What is shaking? Shaking means that it still has uh, the, the the vehicle still has paper document, as in government. Uh, okay, valid plate. documents. Yes. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's pushed to start. Keys here. Yeah. Look at the pepper has grade four. Look at the mileage. Mileage is 137,255. I'm sent in here, which is still written here. Everything is written. And mind you, uh, these cars, the history. One one rule in auction is that if you're bringing cars, you have to state all the state the history. If you buy this car and I obtain different from what is stated here mm. i might take it up with them oh. so every integrity. yes integrity so it's not everybody that has time to come here if they see if they feel it's okay they bid for it and go for it if they don't but the pro the problem must be stated okay. a1 rust wise it's it's looking good mm. mind you uh this in this part of japan tohoku mm -hmm. region who normally experience snow, very heavy snow. So most of our cars, if you're buying cars, you have to check this grading wise. This is for this A1 means that it's perfect. A1, A2, very okay, even A3. But when you see U, U1, U2, U3, U3 is it's terribly bad. Okay. And you want same thing. Uh, all you are rust, but depending on if it's U3, then you just have to cool down and check the car. Okay, interesting. So that's it. Um, the car interior-wise, I don't know, yeah. it's not looking bad. So this is the back. Looks okay. Anyway, that's what you expect from a full grading. Mind you that the grading, everything, it comprises of everything, body, interior, exterior, and uh, engine. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to a uh, smaller car. Yes. 
this section now uh, they've gone to other auctions this is not the first time they are coming it could mm -hmm. be this auction maybe somebody bought it sometime last year or last two years oh and it's but reselling thank you it's reselling this is not the first time it could be tokyo auction it could be a second auction but mm -hmm. they are coming that's why they are in this section oh, okay. this side is first time this side these smaller cars are for three plugs the most african country because of uh, like for instance in nigeria we drive left hand drive mm. we we'll hardly buy or we'll buy few of these vehicles especially only these trucks and uh, we we'll have think this shuttle van also a few of them outsiders these are basically meant for asian market or middle east wow this looks super clean Yes, this is new model hijet truck. Okay. Uh, still has plate number. Probably yeah. this car might take might go maybe grade five. Yes. I don't know why it came, but everything still looks. I mean, even the tires feels like it's fresh from the factory. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, you see new cars. You never can tell. Maybe like I said, this five grade five. Oh, as expected. Oh, this is brand new. See the foot mats, everything is still here in still wrapped. Yes. Look at that. Look, look at this. Still oh. grade five. Yeah, this is like grade I told five. You, almost new. Yes. If you check the. Let's check. Oh, and here, see, there is no information here. So that means it hasn't been used. No, no, no. It's almost new. Yeah, it hasn't been used. See the mileage? Five kilometers. Oh, only five. five. Only five kilometers. Only I don't know Probably why. Probably from the factory to this place. I don't place. know why. Why they gave it five? Maybe you should have. Oh, sometimes, like I said, five is almost new. But this is new car. Actually, this is new. So here, this states it's an unused car. So this is really in perfect condition, so to say. But I don't know why it came to the auction actually. But you can see the mileage is really low. Even look at this no problem yeah no, no information so it's it's good it's, it's new, new yes vehicle. on the graphics no information too so this is 6175 let's check this out and see what the pricing will go for if people bid for it see how clean how oh my if you want to check inside look at the car really smells nice guys i'm oh, serious oh. <laughs> it smells very clean it's Almost everything it, everything it feels like I don't know how to put it like when you buy a new dress <laughs> it smells really good it smells really good oh, it's been a long time I saw this this window whiner <laughs> it's been a really long time is this an old model truck no, no, no. most of the truck it depends on sometimes they put uh, automatic but most most trucks comes with whiner oh really it's more like manual I had manual no dog. idea this is so crisp clean so this kind of cars actually goes to nigeria most times yeah sure yeah hijet is a very popular brand in Not nigeria only nigeria most most uh, even middle east most some african countries also and uh, i think um in asia taiwan uh philippine and the lies they buy this also okay. in africa even ghana senegal and some other country that I can't even mention buys this also. Okay. Yeah, so this is small car area. You this is yellow plates. In Japan here. Yellow plates. Any car that is not up to 1000 cc engine capacity is regarded as yellow plate. Okay. All these cars are smaller. Like this one, even though it's white plates oh, but yeah, it's, that's it's right. regarded that it's the engine is below one thousand. if you check out look at it if you check out this 660 cc yes this smaller engine okay maybe the owner decided to pull white but looking at this Five this inside. it means that it's a smaller engine okay. engine capacity oh i see same thing goes with any 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 car here all these are there most of them are below one thousand yeah interesting So fun fact guys, this is one of the culture shock I experienced in Japan, finding or getting to see small cars. I felt like, wow, what's happening here? This section is actually grade A section. Okay. Most of these cars here are relatively new. Mm. The least you can see here is grade 4. 
you see grade five, grade uh, four, and uh, probably six. But okay. Outside that, but we we'll have a B section where we we'll find we we'll get cheaper cars. Oh. Even in grade B, we can still see cars with uh, grade three, grade three point five, and grade four. In that section, most of the times you buy cheap cars. In grade B, the the cars are good, but. I don't know, for Japan, maybe one thing or the other, if they didn't meet the expectation, mm. then they fall to grade B section. Okay. But all this side is grade A. Okay, so let's go and see grade B. Guys, we're getting into another section. This is known as the zero grade section. Uh, mostly far here, you find major accidents, cars that uh, it's not, I'd rather say not movable. Okay. Most of them has major faults. Just take a look at these two. Accidents, oh. they are in zero grade, all of them. I don't know, even this Land Cruiser. Oh, it could be, it could be okay. Come and take a look at this. Wow, now this is bad. Windows shattered, the back looking messed up. All the cars there, some might not be accidents. Oh. So it might be that the engine is not starting or it's not starting. Not that engine is bad, it could be anything. If it's not starting, then it cannot be uh, assessed. assessed. Come and look at this last thing, huh? Very sweet car. <laughs> very sweet car. See, see, see the uh, has a very bad dent oh. here. Yes. This looks like cars you commonly see with politicians in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you are Nigeria. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this report. This paper, as you oh. can see, it's yes. it's. Is it that even in some cases they rise zero or yes. it's blank? So it's. Yeah, so this is the only thing they notified us of. Like, yes, this but part is horrible. Once it has this kind of thought, they cannot evaluate. Mm -hmm. So buy at um, your own risk. Anything you see, take. Wow. Don't you think people still buy these cars? Probably for scrap? Of course, this car. Don't be surprised. This car must, might go as high as 700 or 800,000. Wow. Looking at even more. Because this car, looking at this. The problem is just bumper and the fender, fender which here just a little bit of so the engine is safe nothing is if you start this car now it will start oh it will start nothing happens to the car just this bumper and uh, also see okay yeah that's also and the rear issue, bumper yeah. mm. okay let's try and start this one yes let's see oh but i like this car see one of the problem uh, affected the door. Yes. But I'm sure this car will start. Okay. You want me to try? Yes, yes try. That means you have to enter from, from the other side. Seat. Okay. Oh, and the sound is good. Uh, uh, not that I told you, just the bumper. The sound the, is actually the good. I want to see the. Oh, it had high mileage anyway. Two hundred and uh, twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand one hundred and ninety-eight. Wow. The car looks good, actually. It does. It looks, it looks this is the camera. Can you see my hand? <laughs> when they, with the high mileage, I'm sure this car it might not go as that high. Because of the high mileage, yes. It's basically the front. All right, let's okay. check other ones. And then one thing about auctions also is that they don't just sell cars; they also have machineries. Like we can see this. I don't know if what this is. It looks like a tractor, but I'm not so sure. Something used in agriculture. Like uh, this auction, it's not um, too big. Not too small. Uh, maybe the cars relatively three thousand five hundred. Oh. In some weeks, we might have as high as six thousand. Wow. Five thousand, but I'm sure by maybe probably two o'clock should be rounding up this. Auction. 
So, so this is the cheap section, okay. And the number starts from 4,000. 4,000, sometimes, yeah. Most, uh, most times in here in JU, they start with this 4,000 for okay. this section. This, where you see car, people buy cars for maybe scrap, repair. Sometimes you buy cheap cars, low as 20 or 30,000. Oh. And uh, maybe you might probably, per eventually, have a similar vehicle that you want to repair. You need the spare parts or the engine to fix the one you have. So yes. let's take a look at uh, this section. All this section, 4,000 to the, wherever it's been, the okay. grade B. Then we have another section for bigger vehicles. We have another sections for bigger vehicles. I might want to try, please take a look at this, at this vehicle. I want to push for this vehicle when the auction starts oh there's a message grade three okay and uh ah it's diesel engine i need this vehicle. we need this i want to push this vehicle but gasoline engine this how do diesel. you know it's gasoline oh. look at anyway, it. it's written in katakana here right it oh. says gasoline this this means diesel this katakana means gasoline, gasoline. yeah that's the way it's in gasoline <laughs> And looking at this car, uh, take, a take a look at this vehicle. Okay. You see how rusty oh, the wow. body is. Really bad. Looking around, you, you see what yeah, I told you reflecting. earlier. You, you see U1 and uh, here. U4. U4. This is underneath or inside. Oh, this is bad. I mean, everywhere is bad. It's really rusty. Whoa. You can see the flakes on the iron. So this might be relatively cheap, right? Of course. I might not go that high. Oh. Maybe... 18 man, 18 man in Japan we want 180,000 oh. plus tax and uh, recycle fee and all that. I might be coming up to close to maybe 220,000 or thereabout. Oh, I see. And then if it were to be much cleaner and newer, how much would it go for? One, uh, because it's diesel, yes. here in Japan diesel is usually cheap. Okay. Uh, because few people buy diesel. But if it's gasoline, this car will go as high as uh, 400,000. Okay. If we, it were to be gasoline. Yes. But this car is, this truck is diesel. This is usually cheaper. Okay. A little bit cheaper. Unlike gasoline, gasoline, a lot of people goes for gasoline. Mm. You know, a lot of people will be pushing for the car if, it's, if it were to be gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm. Uh, like okay, let's check this Toyota Hiace mm. 200. Uh, this Toyota Hiace 200. Oh, this old model, four-wheel drive. The grading or the rating is two, which is not so good. Probably oh. rust and. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, so many things influence this rating. Yeah, we have a bit of rust. Mm, let's check. Uh, uh, a whole lot that we we'll need to check. And uh, is diesel engine 2440 cc. I think this car, this one might not go high because of the rating. Yes, yes. Two means it's, bad. It's not, yes, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Still wondering why they gave it. All right. All like uh, today, I'll push for this vehicle. Okay. Let me check the transmission. Uh, it's automatic. It's high jet van. Oh. It's grade three. Yeah. Um. Let's check the mileage. It says. Uh, oh. The engine is so bad, I will not push for this one, but this one will go to cheap. Okay. The 
sound is the not sound, good. The sound is not good. I think it has engine problem. It's well stated here. EG. EG. Mm. It has engine problem. I'm sure this car will be very cheap. But nobody will want to buy cars that has a engine problem. Okay. Okay. Look at this high jet truck. This high jet truck goes to Nigeria. It's low rating. And uh, two, this car will go very cheap. I want to For three, check three, it out three, and yeah. see how much it will end. Uh, one interesting thing is usually the names of these cars. This is Stella. <laughs> I know many Stellas in Nigeria. <laughs> this is another Stella. I think I've seen Esther. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Well, yeah, I've seen a lot of female. Oh, this is Serena. Reminds me of Serena Williams. Yeah. In Nigeria, we have Sienna. Oh, this is Serena. And it looks like Nigerian uh, Sienna, actually. But Nigerian Sienna is more like a van than this. This is La Festa. I mean, the names are typically very funny. This one is March. I'm sure we might have April, May, June, July. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Okay, let's check out this... Uh... This hijet truck. It has 3.5 grade. I'll push for it. Um, mm, okay. When immediately the auction starts. Uh, oh, five, three, uh, nice. It's very good. So it had a bit of a rust here and here to so, this place. But looking at the car, everything looks good. Okay. Yeah, I think it's 3.5, it's relatively better than a average. Very, very good car. And also, this is what the bucket looks like. Yeah, if you want buying, you have to check all around. Oh, um, yeah. It's yeah, not hidden rust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks good. If it's rusty, it's restated. Yeah, okay, just a few places. See this one also. Second one. I'll push for this one too. This states R. What does that mean? R means repaired. Okay. Has, uh, probably they fixed something before bringing it here. Okay. has a four-wheel drive but well, let's watch out for this when our auction starts oh, okay yeah but the interior looks good actually yeah very neat to the best of my knowledge <laughs> yeah and the bucket is clean the exterior looks good Oh, this is strange. 